big man to the small man you are incapable of developing you will never get a new idea because you have always taken freely but given nothing because you have always helped yourself with what someone else has given you ready made so the question is acharya ji please help me understand what the author is indicating in the excerpt shared above also as i am now understanding myself better my eagerness to share learnings with others is also increasing i have noticed that i get more clarity when i share with others for a seeker should learning and teaching go hand in hand is that what the author means when he mentions developing and giving there is a difference between authoring and recycling there is a difference between originality and second hand knowledge if you give to others what is not really yours can it be called giving at all can it be called giving at all there is something that anyway is not mine and i'm giving it to somebody else first of all this is no giving and secondly who am i to take credit therefore the question of sharing with others or giving to others arises only in the context of authorship originality it is great to give to others but do give only that which is genuinely yours otherwise it is an absurd situation one borrows from someone and then gives to somebody else and then tries to feel good that he is a giver you said that you are learning these days and when you share your learnings with others then you find that your understanding is deepening now that's a good indicator it means something is happening in a dynamic way it means something is spontaneous and fresh when you set out to explain something to the other then you didn't know beyond a point but in the process of explaining to the other you discovered discovered in real time discovered spontaneously it's a good omen proceed with it learning and sharing do go together and must go together just avoid recycling 
Recycling is not merely stupid. It is also unethical, you know. You are trying to feel great on basis of borrowed knowledge. One hears something from somebody and then parrots it out to somebody else and in the process wants to feel superior or secure. Not done. Continue to live with the insecurity that comes with not knowing. Challenge it. Share with others in spite of knowing fully well that you do not know. And then in the process of sharing, in the boldness contained in this love, you will find that realization comes to you exactly when you need it. You may not have had it stored as prior knowledge with you. But just when it was needed in order to facilitate the learning of the other, it descended upon you. That's the mark of true knowledge. It comes to you only when and just when you need it. You will not have it stored in advance with you. In advance, if you want to check whether you have it, you will find you have not much. But let the moment come. And in that moment, knowledge too comes from somewhere. Real knowledge always has a meditative, a mystical origin. It just comes to you. At most, you can give yourself favorable conditions. At most. But you can never give yourself true knowledge. It comes to you. It comes to you as a result of your boldness, as a result of your love as a result of your eagerness for the truth, it comes.